Anybody want to have their way with you? <laughs> Sometimes that sounds like a sexy option. But in reality, to let something have its way with you means you are willing to be in union and allow it to be manifest through you. At least that, when it comes to spirit, that's how it is for me. Like, let me be in the place that thy will is my will. And that might think feel like I'm talking to some being somewhere else, but I'm talking about the central be part of my being, the wonderful one within me. Let that will be my will. And let me not be distracted by the things in my world that are distracting me from the things that are in my own best interest. Let me be vulnerable to the fact that I know what that is, even though I've made decisions that have taken me down paths that got hard. Let me continue to say yes to that. Because I want to be a full creator. I don't want to be a partial creator. I don't want to be having this experience of, well, it's Sunday, I'll do it today. Or I'm in, I'm in a meeting, I'll do it while I'm in the meeting. I want to be a creator where no moments are, are wasted. No moments are given away to reaction or the circumstance. Now, it requires some discipline. Anybody do it without thinking? <laughs> Anybody able to do it as though it's as easy as breathing? It should be that easy, but we're not trained to do it that easily. None of us had parents that um, use this language. Anybody here have parents that use this language? No. Oh, good, because I, I thought I was the only one. <laughs> no, I know I'm not the only one. We... Um, We have circumstances where things were told us that were not true. And um, so we walked a thorny path. And one of the things about walking in wisdom is sometimes what you get to see is the things that were told to you aren't true. That's a gift. But you, you also have to acknowledge that that was part of the path. For example, anyone tell you you're, um, you're a smarty pants? You're a sassy girl? You're just like your father. I could give you a list. I'll make up some that I didn't hear. Why do you have to be such a sissy boy? I have friends who were told they were too feminine. They were too, um, too uh, artistic. They needed to get into sports. I mean, there's some, some of them are lightweight. Some of them are big. Some of the things we were told was, um, you're going to hell. I was in the Catholic Church, you know, if you're not going to confession every week, the chances of damnation, even though he sung in the song, he didn't care about it. As a kid, you were scared to death about damnation. And that's when you were seven and eight years old. What the hell's damnation when you're eight years old, you know, but you're already afraid of it. So to find the, um, the wisdom when you come across, that was something terrible to be telling an eight-year-old. I mean, to then do the process of letting go of the thing that was told to you that not only was not true, but stayed with you and affected your cellular memory of how you're going to live your life. There are ways you behaved out of fear of, of what might happen in the afterlife. Not behaved or did creative, wonderful things because that's how you're designed. That's how you should you have the greatest life to be present and creative and indulgent in spirit and life. It's in your best interest to live 